raspberry cheesecake. So let's have a look at the ingredients. I have here about 100 grams of chocolate which I will show you which I have started to melt it in a double boiling method that is water in the base and the chocolate on top. So water is here in this pan with the uh, handle. I've just kept the bowl, a glass bowl here. To it I've added about 100 grams of the compound chocolate and I'm just going to melt it. I have here 100 grams of butter, one and a half egg. That means one egg I have taken full, another egg I have taken only the white. Then about um, 125 grams of the sugar, about uh, 55 grams of the all-purpose flour. Once we the butter is soft, we will put the sugar and butter and to start to beat in a stand mixer. Butter, sugar and one egg I have added and it's nicely getting incorporated. Once it's become little creamy, then I'll add that other portion of that egg as well. Chocolate is melted very well. So this we have to add it on to the egg mixture which is getting ready. Now the mix is good enough. It's nicely creamy and done. Now I'll add in the uh, all-purpose flour and mix it. Along with that I will add in the chocolate also and mix all of them together well. So the chocolate has got mixed along with the ingredients that we were nicely beating. Now the brownie mix is ready here. Just keep it aside. Let's do the cheesecake now. Okay, now to make the cream cheese cake, I have taken here 200 grams of the cream cheese, about 60 grams of the powdered sugar or the caster sugar, one teaspoon of the vanilla powder, about 75 grams of the raspberry. You can use fresh, frozen, however you like. I have taken one egg. Now what we're going to do is dunk in the cheese and the sugar with the vanilla powder and mix it very well. Beat it smooth. In the meanwhile, start to preheat your oven at 180 degrees. Keep on a low uh, mode and then put the sugar and the cream and mix it very well. This is a cheese cream which I am talking about. So get mixed in this. Now I am going to add in the egg. You will add one egg and beat it in a low speed sir. I have added some little bit of the raspberry hair. Now going to scoop in the mix what we had done on top of the brownie. Uh, I'm going to generously add in the raspberries that I have kept here. Put out the oven is getting heated at 180 degrees and let's put this to get baked. Took me 45 minutes. See now you can see all this is brown here. Let, this is done like very soft the cake is and uh, in the center you will feel like this is the, like very little uh, when you put a skewer you will see it's done but still it's very soft here that's how it has to be okay and now once this becomes cold then you will put it into the refrigerator for two hours so this is the brownie part which has come up this portion so you can see little darker here and there that is it and you should get the nice golden on the sides like this and the center it will be like this only.